I lost my way I strayed too far I ran and just kept running Now I'm lost and so alone No loved ones are coming I don't even know how I got here But I wish I could go home But you could help me Though you might not feel it's true And I hope that you will realize that I'm depending on you. You could take me in your arms and tell me that you Please hold me close and don't let go There's a dark cloud above me I won't survive without your love Oh, won't you take me home? Oh, you could help me Though you might not feel it's true And I hope When Paige came into the shelter, she was very fearful. When we did her assessment, she was very hard to handle. Part of what is involved in the, in the safer assessment is grabbing the collar so you're mildly restraining the dog and then handling them in different ways. Well, <laughs> Paige really didn't like that. Um, lots of leash biting, a lot of jumping up on me, a lot of mild mouthing of my arms, just really resistant to staying in that position I needed her to stay in. Oh, you could help me. After the basic care is done, after they've got food and water and shelter, how do you really, really help them? Um, and the training does that. It gives them the skills to be calmer, to, to go to a home and really succeed. Um, it just kind of closes the loop, you know? Uh, and I think everybody here wants to save animals as well. And the training is life-saving. You know, if you can take a dog that just has no skills and give them some, and then that can be continued in the home, they can be in that home for 10, 12 years, and really succeed, and that's that's what people want to do here. They don't want to just take a dog on a walk and then go home and say, well, I walked that dog. They want to see, when does that dog get adopted, and then does that dog succeed? And I think the Be Mindful really, really helps with that. Depend.